Ya, yeah, hello everybody, hello, ¿cómo estáis todos? Aquí un nuevo video, a new video from René, and I'm going to show a lot of stuff. I got a full bag of stuff I've been playing in the shop. Todo esto lo, lo estuve escuchando en la tienda, and it's all a lot of cool stuff. I'm going to show that. But first I want to talk a little bit about the festival that happened yesterday. I already uploaded uh, a video of a concert, of a, of a little piece of a concert of the band Angelus Apatrida. And I went to this festival. Fui a este festival. Beach Riot Fest. El primer festival eh, realizado en Benidorm, en Penelope Discoteca, in the, in the discotheque. It was a great, great festival, really. I only went to see two bands, Angelus and S.A., Sofiat Alcohólica, you know, I went, fui a ver esas dos bandas y me lo pasé muy bien. About Angelus, for sure, most of you already have these albums and they have some other albums too. They came out on Century Media and I think if you like Testament, Dead Angel, you also like this band, for sure. It's just a great band. Y este fue número uno el año pasado en ventas en España. This became number one. In Spain, the sales, you know, sold more than any other record during like a week or during a month. It was a very important album, this one, in 2021 for the band. It's great songs on here and great songs on here too. But I'm going to start showing everything. So I'm going to sit down for that. My daughter is helping me filming. So I have an expert behind the camera. And this is stuff I've been listening or in the car or in the shop. This one, I listen to it in the car. Esto lo escuché en el coche. Si, si no sois fans de la banda, os tenéis que hacer con este recopilatorio. You know, if, even if you're not a fan, this, all the songs on here are great. Some were new, especially recorded for this, for this uh, best of with Sammy Hager, but you have a lot, a lot of classics, like Eruption, uh, Panama, um, Janie's Crying, of course, uh, Right Now, Top of the World, Can't Stop Loving You, just a great, great uh, party album, you know, it's a must-have a compilation, the best of both worlds, so I play this in the car, actually. Another uh, I played in the shop and in the car too, it's uh, this project. And this was the last thing that Janie Lane from uh, Varent uh, did before he died, actually. And this was the Saints of the Underground. And we had also two Rat members, we were also a part of this. Just an, a, a great hard rock album. Uh, no modern influences, no alternative. And this came out in 2008 on uh, Warner Records, a big label. You know, but this, this album should have sold a lot more. Also, uh, Kerry Kelly is in here too. You know, the guy from Elway Guns. Uh, I think nowadays he's in Night Ranger. Feste Pussycats. He was in a lot of different bands. They only released, of course, this. And later, in 2011... Uh, Janie Lane died. Okay, let's start with more some more things. Let's start with the tape. This is uh, a new song, actually two new songs of Guns N' Roses. I bought this directly from uh, the fan club or the, the website of Guns N' Roses. Great song, Heart School. It's great, great. It's just Heart School and Absurd. That's not a great song. But, you, you know, it gets better if you play it more times. But still, I don't like his vocals on that song. But you also have a great version, a uh, live version of Don't Cry and You Are Crazy. Also a very cool live version. I listened to one of my favorite Manowar albums, Louder Than Hell. It's a great album from 1996. So many great songs. Return of the Warlords. They made a video clip for that one. A Courage was another single. Um, more singles. Number One was a single. Of course, The Gods Made Heavy Metal. Great, great album. 
This is quite an underrated uh, band. They were from Japan, Dead End. And if I'm not mistaken, this is the third album, Shambara. It's a really, really good album on Metal Blade Records. I think it came out in the late 80s. I cannot... Yeah, in 88 it came out. You should really check this album out. It's really, really a good album. I really, really enjoy this album. Also listen to this uh, soundtrack. This is of course this KISS soundtrack. We have Black Sabbath on here. Van Halen is here on here. Chip Trick, Thin Lizzy, The Runaways, Sweet, KISS of course too. It's great. Here's some newer stuff. This is like speed metal. I think they're from Asia. And this is they have two two tapes. I have both of the tapes. Iron Bird. Heavy Metal Evil. If you like Exciter, you will like this for sure. Iron Bird. They have two all two tapes out. Heavy Metal Evil. I think they are from Singapore. You know, I, I think so. I'm not, I'm not 100 percent sure about that. I'm going to show more. I have so many things to show. Um, maybe the Saxon. Innocent is no excuse. This is one of those uh, new releases and uh, new editions they released with bonus tracks. This album is from 1985, if I'm not mistaken. I have it on vinyl too. The original classic album, including rare bonus tracks, original lyrics and rare photos and memorabilia. Great album. I love the song Call of the Wild. And Devil Rides Out. Devil Rides and Everybody Up. Yeah, there's, there's so many good songs on here. But uh, yes, Devil Rides Out is a really, really great song. It's quite underrated, that song. Let's go with a little bit of, of LPs, vinyl. Let's go with a rare one Liquid Mirror. Kicked out of fantasy from 1986. If you like Wild Tiger, White Tiger, White Tiger, they remind me quite quite a lot of Wild Tiger. You know, White sorry, White Tiger with Mark and Jones from uh, Kiss fame. You know, it's like hard and heavy. This this is not this has not been re-released on vinyl yet. It's a very rare uh, record. See the inner, inner lay, lyrics, and some fan club information, and stuff you could buy. You could buy some stuff by the bands back then. And uh, yeah, I'll put it away later. Here we have a nice uh, EP by Warlord from the um, uh, Truest Steel uh, days. And uh, we have three songs from the True as Steel on here. Fight for Rock, Mr. Gold and Midnight in China. And then we have You Heard My Soul on and on. Turned on and Evil are also on here. That's why it's, uh, it's, it's really a, a cool uh, thing that came out in 1986. Also they're promoting the tour, the UK tour that they did with Wasp back in 1986. That is a quite a cool item. This is such a great Spanish metal album. Uh, hard, it's, it's a hard rock. It's heavy rock. And, and metal too. It's, it's just a great album. Check out Salvaje Como Puro Metal. I love it. Or Escapa. I love it too. Or the single Galones de Plástico. It's just an, uh, an incredible album. Or the ballads Junto a Ti. Me encanta este disco. Y esto salió en el 83. Creo que se grabó en, en Inglaterra este disco. No, este no. No, fue, no en Madrid. Vale. Luego, este es un grupo de, eh, de hard rock católico. Petra. Es also the name of my sister. <laughs> She's also Petra. Con the Christian hard rock band. I mean, this is an, uh, a great album. Check out First Love. First Love sounds very much like Striper. It's not a Striper song, because they also have a song called First Love. But it's just a uh, very good one. Here we have Tigers of Pangtang. They changed the style a lot. Burning in the Shade. 
It is just hard AOR. You know, a lot of the bands from the early 80s, they changed later, you know, into a, into a more American sounding uh, sound. I still enjoy this album, but I understand that a lot of people didn't like this when it was released. Samson. I love this album. This is uh, actually their debut album, recorded in April 79 and released in June 79. Bruce, Bruce Dickinson, Bruce Bruce, he appears like a band member, but he, he you cannot hear him on here yet. Because he came in, in, into the band when uh, this album was already ready. And they released it with his name under. But he's not on here. You know, it's, uh, yes, it's just an, uh, a really, really uh, good album. I really, really enjoy this album. Can I have still, you still have some minutes left? Mm, yeah. Some more cool stuff. This is actually a band that only released this, is the third stage alert. I have the Japanese uh, of this, and this band is, was, they were from Los Angeles. You know, and it was produced by Ingui Malstein. And we also have Anne Bolin from um, Helion. He was a, she was also on this, this uh, EP. Just four songs. I really, really enjoy it came out in uh, in the early 80s like I said another great one is the burning star this is actually the first that came out under the name of burning star but I have the French edition and then the logo instead of burning star it says Jack star but in other uh, countries where this was released it came out under the name of burning star and this is from 1985 of course, he, he released his other solo album before that, you know, like under the name of Jack Star. But we know this guy, of course, from uh, Virgin Steel. You know, he was in the band Virgin Steel. We also have here Greg D'Angelo is playing on here. He's playing drums, but he's not credited on this album, really. Like, you know, because uh, you know, they, they later they, they released this album and they put other band members there. But the one that recorded the drums was Greg D'Angelo. It was later in White Lion too, you know, and of course he was also in Anthrax, on the single of Anthrax, on the Soldiers of Metal single, he was playing on there, you know, it's like, uh, yes, it's, uh, and also the bass is a different guy that you can, that they credit on this album, his name is Bruno Ravel, you know, I have a little list here, you see of things that I wrote down for me to remember, he's also not, not, uh, they don't talk about him like an official band member. He later uh, formed the band Danger Danger in 87. And made many albums, you know, with Danger Danger. You know, great. I like it. It's American hard and heavy. This is another uh, Samson album. And this is doesn't really have this new wave of British heavy metal sound anymore. Because this is another band like Tigers of Pang Tang. Or, or Tokyo Blade, for example, that became more and more commercial, you know, like uh, during the mid 80s and late 80s. Saxon was another band. And of course, Def Leppard is a very good example too. But it's a, it's a quite a cool EP, a five songs EP. Here we have Warlord Through a Steel. I played the EP and I also played this one. I mean, uh, yeah, it's not much I have to tell you about this. It's a little more melodic than the first two albums, you know, but I still, I mean, I still think it's a great record. I also listened to this compilation, The Metal Massacre 5. It's one of the best that they ever did, you know, on this, uh, on the Metal Blade records, you know, because we have here two, for the first time, uh, some international bands that were not uh, from the USA. You know, and we are. I'm talking about uh, Hellhammer is on here with the Sun Crucif Crucifixion, and we have the Dutch band from Holland, Future Tense. They were also on here, and Omen have have the song called Torture Me, and Metal Church. You know, made themselves aware. You know, thanks to this EP, and Attacker is on here, and Overkill is on here, Fate's Warning is on here, Mace. 
is on here too. And I think you finished the video. Yes. Okay. I was going to show more things like this one or the Battle X. See the second album by Battle X. Great band from the UK. Underrated record in my opinion. But anyway, I was going to show a lot more things, but I don't want to make the video too long. That was everything. Okay, stay metal, everybody.